quick video about uh, the Talaria Sting MX4. It's the Talaria Sting RMX4. It's the newer version that just came out from Talaria. They had one last year or the year before with smaller motor. This has got a 9 or 8 or 9 kilowatt hour with a 45 amp hour battery. You know, it's, it's about 25-30% more power. It's got some other upgrades too, um, you know, from the last model. I bought a Suron X for my wife last year from Lunacycle, and she loved it so much. I, you know, because a lot of times we're traveling, instead of taking the full 450s, which are loud, a lot of times, a lot of places they're not allowed, especially here in California. You know, her electric bike, uh, she had no issues at all, even some of the state parks. You know, they they didn't really bother her. So I bought this. Uh, from Lunacycle, just like I said, just like the Suron, and um, what I wanted to talk about was the customer service. So they put it up for sale, and they were oversold pretty quick. This is the first shipment, uh, kind of like what happens a lot on the knife drops. You know, I didn't say anything. They got an email the next day, said, uh, sorry for the inconvenience. You know, we oversold by nine. You were one of them. They gave me an option of... A $200 credit or a full refund. So I took the $200 credit and they told me, Tony was his name in customer service, said I was going to get the new shipment was going to come in in between 10 and two weeks, 10 days and two weeks. So right around 10 days, I got the FedEx a sh tr tracking information and two days later it showed up from there. This was probably about two weeks ago. Um, I'm just trying to think of the date. So the box had damage right on the truck. I documented it, had the driver, you know, noted on the paperwork. I sent the pictures to Luna Cycle and just said, hey, is it okay to open it? I, mean, I knew they were going to say yes, but I wanted to document everything. I opened it and uh, everything looked good. The front, it was by the front side, the box was crushed. And right here, I don't know if you can see that, it gouged into the frame and took out the sticker. You know, the guy was pretty realistic on on his reply to me he said hey you know you're going to get it all scratched up and everything writing it and, and i didn't really ask for much i just said you know because i bought this i shared it with my son he's going to write it too i just said hey you know he's kind of ocd but once again i didn't ask for anything so they offered either to get me the new piece of sticker or a 50 dollar refund on the original purchase so I took the $50 refund, figured, hey, why not? And it did come. The next day I looked at my PayPal and it it came. Now the original $200 was a credit for, for parts, you know, in-house, which we use. We bought the foot pegs there, the blue foot pegs, and this really cool uh, billet kickstand, which is adjustable for when we put bigger tires on it later. You know, you can actually stretch it out a little bit. So I was really happy. I was a happy camper. Thank them. And like three or four days later, I get this in the mail. You know, this is a pretty good sized piece of cardboard uh, shipping box with the sticker, piece of sticker anyway. So, you know, they sent it out. I took the, the $50 refund and then ended up sending out the sticker anyway. So I emailed them and said, hey man, that's exemplary customer service. I really appreciate it. You know, we bought the two bikes from you now and I've bought a lot of parts from my wife's bike too. Uh, Upgraded seat, uh, support brace for the pegs, new pegs, a chain, new sprockets, just a bunch of things. Extra gates, uh, a gates belt upgrade for hers because hers has got a jack shaft on it. And every time I've dealt with them, just in ordering, it's just been stellar. So um, once again, the two hundred dollars in parts, I bought the kickstand, the the new billet pegs because it comes with cast, and then these uh, upgraded mounting, you know, the chain tensioning blocks that are going in the back. I haven't had a chance to put those on yet. So the other, made, you know, the minor upgrades I'm going to do right away is I'm going to put on a set of Renthal. I already got them. Fat bars. And then uh, I ordered, I ordered the warp. No, I ordered a Flynn off the internet and I, I, made, I was dumb. I made the mistake because I knew on the Suron, when you put a direct mount stand on here, you have to clear the light, which we're going to put a Ba Designs light in this eventually anyways. But for right now... If you put the direct mount stem on there, you won't clear the light. So if you look at hers, you can see how the it's really well made. Rises it up on a 20 millimeter spacer and clears the bar. So 
it's going to help anyways because you know I'm a tall guy when I do end up riding it it's going to with the new bars and that extension it's going to bring the bars up towards the rider when you're standing so uh that's all just a quick video on Luna's customer service I just want to stress um you know after aftermarket uh, excuse me aftermarket parts after sales support stellar customer service they have a lot of how to videos on how to do things I'm pretty mechanically inclined but there's a lot of people that aren't and they're breaking things right out of the box they're doing the how-to videos and just quick shipping i just can't say enough about luna cycle if you're looking to buy any type of e-bike they sell other types of e-bikes but especially the talara and the suron uh, we've had nothing but a good experience with them so i hope everybody's well i probably won't be doing videos much I'm getting, uh, finally getting my uh, lumbar fusion surgery, so maybe I can, in a few months I can actually get to ride this thing. So, hope everybody's well. Take care of yourselves.